Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Clint Curtis, and welcome to another edition of Clint's Vlog from the Bar. I got some feedback actually for this, for my first one. Let's see, one guy came up to me at the bar and said I should memorize the lines, memorize the stories. And I thought, that's a really good idea. I should try that. Too lazy. Let's see, another guy said, you should shoot it. Let's see, you're doing bar stories. Why don't you do it in a bar? Appreciate my living room wall. So uh, anyway, we're gonna try this again, same way, same station. Uh, I got five stories for you today, really excited about it. Four stories are bar stories, and one is going to be a surprise. Was that scary? Going to be a surprise. <clears throat> so let's get going, shall we? First story is called The Perfect Assist. Guy comes up, says to me, do you listen to this type of music? Referring to the genre of music that's playing tonight. Without hesitation, I say, oh yeah. He says, great, I hope you like my band. I finish my sentence with three times a week. He looks confused for a second, then says, oh yeah, here? I say, yeah. Then he says, so that doesn't necessarily mean you like the music. I say, exactly. You know, you're playing volleyball, your teammate gives you the perfect assist, just sailing above the net. You gotta just slam it in your opponent's faces. It's not nice, but it just has to happen. Second story I call a martini I recommend. Blonde comes up to the bar, kind of cute. Says, what kind of martini do you recommend? I say, first thing that comes to mind, an s and She says, what's that? I say, a martini I recommend. Next story is called, Let Go. Buddy of mine's at the bar with a girl I've never met before. I know his girlfriend and this girl's not her. Maybe they broke up, who knows? That happens occasionally. I approach, say, what's going on? Then I say, you guys on a date? He says, no, no, we're just friends. We've actually been friends since we were 18. I say, perfect. You guys should definitely have sex. They laugh, I say. Think about it. All that tension that's been building up over the years. Imagine, if you will, if you just let go one night and went for it. It would be amazing. I like to say some things just to hear myself talk, and also because I'm usually right. This story is called Staring Guy. There's a bald guy at the bar that keeps staring at me, and he's not shy about it. He just stares. It's extremely uncomfortable. I go up to him, say, is there anything I can get you? He waves his hand, no, no, I'm good. Then gives me this spooky Cheshire grin. What can you say to someone that's staring at you? Uh, it's not elementary school anymore. You can't go up to the person and say, hey, stop staring at me, would ya? I just want to go up to him, grab his face with my two hands, move his head to the side and stay, and say, 
stare that way. <coughs> so this is kind of exciting. I have started a new blog. Uh, I've been writing on it for about a month, month and a half now. It's called, are you ready? Cool Story Dad. It's about, it's stories about me being a dad to two crazy boys and a husband. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty good, I'd say. It's clean, so you can read it to the whole family. Love for you to check it out. It's at coolstorydad.com. And so this is a story from it. It's called Go Wipe Your Butt. It's after dinner, I go down to my man cave. The boys follow. I'm laying on my bed reading a text. My youngest son, Henry, climbs up, stands by me. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Something smells like poo. My son at this moment is not wearing underwear. I look at his butt. No, looks okay. He sits down. Minute later, my oldest son, Liam, climbs up on the bed. First thing he says is, Ew, it smells like poop up here. Henry, I say, did you not wipe? He starts laughing. I say, get up. It is important to know right now in the story that I have a white duvet cover on the bed. I look at where he's sitting. There's this brown skid mark. Jesus Christ. For some reason, I stick my head down there, hoping that the stain will smell like chocolate. Pipe dreams. Henry, you got poop on my comforter. Go wipe your butt. My sons just laugh and laugh. And my wife does too when I tell her the story. I take off the duvet cover, put it directly in the wash. Hey. I guess I needed to clean it anyway. It's been about a month. Thanks for listening to Clint's vlog from the bar. I'm gonna try to be doing this once a week, so check it out. In the immortal words of a guy that was on stage, he was a rapper. He said, I heard him last week, he goes, you gotta grind it to get that money. Bye-bye.